tell you of the days of high adventure. Hello, bozos. I come to you today with no shortage of trepidation. For it seems my role in the saga of the Trollbusters has expanded. As some of you who have been following this saga no doubt know, the ranks of the Trollbusters have thinned somewhat. The anti-troll is retired as he is fast approaching fatherhood. His wife Elizabeth is with child, it seems. Even Trollcatcher and Sean Strife have pulled up stakes, and my lord the Troll Hunter is nowhere to be found. Cuff and Hot Rod just bought it. I can't deal with that now. So it was recently put to a vote, and it was decided that I should take command of the Trollbusters. Trollbane has said himself that he is no leader. For my part, I was content to be the herald of my lord, the Troll Hunter, and his, I guess you could say, court jester. Ooh, your powers of deduction are exceptional. I simply can't allow you to waste them here when there are so many crimes going unsolved at this very moment. But lo, Jewel Spar and my own crew, the Troll Wreckers, voted almost unanimously that I become leader of the Trollbusters in the Troll Hunter's absence. But know this. I am a steward only, a caretaker of the throne. When the Troll Hunter returns, and I know he will, I will gladly step down and resume my original post. In the meantime, I take command of a new generation of Trollbusters, to include some po cl close personal friends of mine, Elijah G. Vanderbilt and Kingman Highborn, and even YouTube commentators Dark Angel the Light and Vesper the Snake. Leave all that can be spared behind. Travel light. That is handsome, Orc. In other news, a troll that I have been tracking for some time now has recently turned in his sword and <laughs> left the internet. Or so I thought. Yeah, these clowns are harder to brush off than dryer lint. I speak, of course, of... Well, frankly, I refuse to sully my tongue with his username. That's me, baby. Anywho, I had spent several days conversing with this hooligan who claimed to be an aspiring rapper via channel comments. I have a link in the description. Uh, go ahead and read it. I'll wait. Did you get all that? Well, here's a bit of an explanation. I found this guy on Otaku Man 29's channel after he posted a very hateful comment regarding otaku slash weeaboos who are under my protection, of course. I proceeded to warn him that I was into, on to his monkey shines and he, that he was on notice. He proceeded to address me very arrogantly, using enough profanity to make a sailor in the U.S. Navy blush. At one point, I even made peaceful overtures to him, and I was angrily rebuffed as he was under the impression I was being friendly under false pretenses. Sean Strife even intervened at one point, and the troll fell silent for a time. Well, he cleared, he cleared his channel of all his videos and left a message saying, I had fun with this character. So yes, as I suspected, he was a troll all along. An arrogant, angry wannabe saying spiteful things just to get attention. Something told me, however, we'd not seen the last of him. Did you ever have the feeling you was being watched? Frankly, I got some enjoyment from my inter interactions with this fail troll. The more he tried to get under my armor plating, the more my smile widened, and the more ammunition he gave me to make him look like the jackass he was. And as it turns out, I was right. His leaving the internet was a ruse, or at least something to lull lesser mortals into a false sense of security. Me, I saw it coming a mile away. And that's okay. Winston Churchill himself once said, You have enemies? Good. That means you stood up for something sometime in your life. Well, ladies, the pleasure was all mine, which is the only thing that matters in the end. Talking of which, I believe the most powerful weapon against trolls and cyberbullies is the thing that kept these guys going.
That's right. Mike Nelson, Tom Servo, and Crow T. Robot. The most powerful weapon in their arsenal was always a hearty sense of humor. As they say, laugh and the world laughs with you. Weep and you weep alone. Should one find themselves against a troll, the best defense is always not to feed the troll. That is, do not give in to the anger and hatred that the troll is trying to create with its spite-filled, hateful comments. Instead, point out their logical fallacies and do so in such a way that will get others involved all a chuckle. Such tactics serve me well against the rap troll and will continue to serve in future troll-busting endeavors. And that's what I plan to do. To stand as a symbol. A figurehead to those who can't quite find the t courage to tell trolls and cyberbullies, All right, we're sick of your bullshit. This buck stops here, boys. Because I am hard, you will not like me. But the more you hate me, the more you will learn. Whether the troll hunter or any of the other veteran troll busters return to the front lines or not, I will do them proud. And with that, I leave you with the words of Vesper the Snake. Have fun, stay safe, and don't be an asshole. Till all are one, bozos. Sometimes helps, but not often.